What's up everybody, War here. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today, we are diving into the Wizards. We're gonna bring you an LOD Magic Missile Wizard build for you guys for Diablo 3 Season 27. Now, we have a build here designed to do T16 Rifts, Bounties. Uh, we haven't got it strong enough yet to do GR90 Speed Farming, but I think for T16s and Rifts, this build is gonna be fantastic for all you Wizard mains, okay? so. Let's get into the a riff just to show you guys how things are popping. And then, of course, we will go over the build and everything that you need on top of some other options that you want to change and use the build for. So let's get right into it. Okay, so the whole design of this build, guys, is that we're going to pop Storm Armor, Familiar, and the Magic Weapon Deflection. These are going to be up at all times. We only have Slow Time because of our Helm, Crown of the Premise, so it's up all the time, and then we get all the runes. But... So the build, the build is literally just going to be teleporting around and then dropping magic missile. So let's go. Okay. Not the best map in the world, but it's fine. So again, this build is pretty fast, guys. It's pretty easy to play. It's not hard. You're, you're just pressing two buttons. And you should literally just destroy the map. You should just absolutely annihilate the map and anything that you come across. I think this build is is pretty fun, man, as you can see. I mean, what's there not to love about just shooting 10 magic missiles at everything, destroying the entire map, and then all you got to do is just pick stuff up? The build is super cool, very flavorful to the eyes, guys, and I think it's just really, really fun to play. I know that Meteors is, is you know, obviously the best thing, and then an upgraded version of this is Firebird's magic missile, but... I think playing something besides magic or besides firebirds is just really cool because firebirds, oh, you know, is a big rotation of skills, and this is just pressing two buttons. So I think when it comes to that, this build is much easier when you're just trying to hang out, you're just trying to grind, you're just trying to, you know, watch some Netflix and do the thing and just play some Diablo, not even stressing. You guys can see we we destroy absolutely everything. Now, I will say this, this is the hard part about this build as we're playing it, is that it is very hard to, to gear as any LOD build is. And then on top of it, to get all the gear that you need, it's even harder to get everything ancient. So for this build in particular, we have thir or 10 out of the 13 items ancient or, or your gear pieces that you can do. So we're still missing a few, but we got 10 of them. So the build is super strong. Now, I will tell you this, that the build will work just fine for T16, even if you don't have Ancients. It's still very, very strong. I tested this before I got my Ancients to bring this build to you guys. So the build will still work for T16. It's just going to work a bit easier when you have, uh, you know, everything Ancient. So I would definitely try to uh, get everything Ancient. And you see, we just destroy. Look at this. Oh, and we even got some extra blood shards. You just destroy everything on the map. Rift Guardians, no problem. Okay, guys, I'm going to see you back in town for the gear. So, everything that you're going to need for the build, guys. Now, this is what I prefer, and this is what I really like, and I think that works best for me. Okay? So, we have Firebirds, or we used to have Firebirds. Now, we have an LOD version. Everything is going to be using the... Uh, fire rune on our magic missile so i wanted to opt for the most amount of fire damage that i can get so let's go over everything starting off i have the helmet i have the crown of the premise because i like the slow time factor that gives uh slow time every single rune now i'm going to go over this more in detail when we talk about the skill but i have this in here i think it's a really nice addition pauldrons of the skeleton king that are going to give us an extra life on a 25 percent chance uh, then we have Cinder Coat, which reduces fire the cost of fire skills by 25%. The only thing that we're casting is Magic Missile, which is fire. Uh, but it's just a really nice thing. Uh, Magic Missile doesn't even really cost anything. So, But you have that option. Uh, another reason that we have this is just for more fire skill damage. That's the reason that Cinder Coat is actually on, not the reduced cost. Uh, Mage Fist for more fire damage. And then, of course, Squirts Necklace for double damage. The Arm Guards for more move speed with fire skill damage. Uh, Convention of Elements for more damage. Rachel's Ring of Larceny for more speed. Uh, then we have the Gold Wrap combined with Boon of the Hoarder and Avarice Band on our follower for 
just becoming immortal, essentially. Uh, of course, we got Depth Diggers. Very crucial for the build, guys. Primary skills deal up to 100% uh, additional damage. We have Ice Climbers to gain immunity from freeze and immobile effects. Uh, we have the Mirror Ball, which is going to give us two more magic missiles and give us increased damage. And then, of course, Fragment of Destiny, which gives our signature spells 50% attack speed and deal triple damage. Okay, so those are the gear pieces. We end up getting a total of 66% fire damage increase. Now, if all these were at 20, then it would be higher. But we are short, what, 8? Uh, 1, so we're short 9 fire damage. 9% fire damage. Uh, and actually make that 14% fire damage. So we actually would be at 80%. So, but everything is going to be fire damage just to... To just to do even more i know it's t16 but that's the that's the way i kind of built it now our legendary gems guys we have you have to have lod for this build you got to have legacy of dreams we have this maxed out because you want ancient items for everything it's going to double the bonus for ancient items now we have 10 out of 13 so the 375 percent is going to double and give us more damage reduction for each ancient item Okay, then we went with uh, Simplicity Strength for primary skill damage. And then we have, of course, Boon of the Hoarder for more move speed, which is great. Into the cube, we got Aether, Walker. This is T16. We want to get, a, you know, get through things fast, bounties, rifts. So we want no longer have a cooldown on teleport. We just want to be teleporting around non-stop. Okay, so Aether, Walker, and then Shelm of Desir in the uh, armor slot, which gives us even more attack speed and restores arcane power. And then, of course, Halo of Karini, along with Storm Armor to proc this for just some damage reduction. Wizards are pretty squishy, so just having just a little bit of damage reduction is fine. Now, some people are going to say, well, you have Gold Wrap and Aether Span. You already become immortal. Why have this? If you want to change this out, Halo of Karini, I definitely would suggest doing... Um, you could do any of the options that we're going to talk about later, like Stone of Jordan would be fine. Um, you could do Obsidian Ring of the Zodiac if you really want. Um, but So you have some flexibility there. I just like to have that. In our skills, of course, Magic Missile uh, with the Fire Rune for just unlimited fire damage. Then we got Slow Time with no point of return, which is going to give us that last rune. Now, the reason that we took Slow Time is because when you look at Slow Time... All right, so inside the bubble, you reduce enemy attack speed, movement, um, and then it slows enemy projectiles. Now, if you look at each room, because of the helmet, we're gonna get each one. So the speed reduction is even more for against enemies. Enemies caught in slow time, they deal less damage. Uh, when they're caught inside a bubble, they take more damage. No point of return makes them have a enter or leave slow time when they're stunned for five seconds. And then slow time speeds up for allies for attack speed. Now, I really like this because while the slow time constantly follow us, our attack speeds increase by 10 more percent. So that's just a flat 10 percent attack speed increase. Now, as we're dashing around with teleport, you know, we're teleporting around. We're going to have some, some enemies that are going to be in the slow time for the rest of these runes to affect. But we got this for the time or for the uh, attack speed and then any additional damage while they're inside it. So this works really good against Rift Guardians, especially if you're not going to go a big distance. Um, now, if you wanted to swap this out, you definitely could. You could um, swap out Slow Time and not even run it. You could do Diamond Skin, Frost Nova, anything like that. You could actually do Diamond Skin Prism or not Prism, but Sleek Shell to while it's active increases your movement speed even more. But I like the Slow Time room, guys. You got some flexibility there. Of course, teleport wormhole. Um, after teleporting, we can teleport again. Really, with the unlimited teleports, we could actually do calamity. You could do reversal, safe passage for uh, just even less damage reduction. Anything you want. I just kept it on wormhole. No big deal. Uh, and then we have storm armor scramble for increased move speed with the halo. Uh, we have familiar spark flint for 10% more damage, which is fire. And then we have arc or magic weapon deflection for just more damage reduction now on deflection or magic weapon you could change this okay you could do force weapon do more damage um you could do ignite to just do even more fire damage if you want you don't need conduit but deflection just for more damage reduction is fine those are the skills into our passives guys we have galvanizing war to increase our shield effects uh dominance for even more shield uh power hungry for more damage and then illusionist for uh, more movement speed as we're teleporting 
Now with the skills, guys, you can change these. You have a lot of flexibility here again. If you wanted to take dominance off, you could do audacity for more damage, which would be fine. Especially uh, between these two, you would get the big damage reduction. And then there's, I think there's five yards in between where you'd be able to get both. So you could do that. Um, you could do configuration for even more fire damage, um, glass cannon, astral presence. So any one of these is just fine. Uh, but I like Dominus just for more shield. I want to stay alive as long as possible. You could even do Unstable Anomaly if you really wanted to. But you have some flexibility there. Uh, so those are the passives, guys. So into the uh, stat priorities that we have for the build, you're going to want intelligent or Intelligence, Crit Chance, and then Magic Missile Damage instead of Vitality. On the shoulders, you want Intelligence, Vit, Armor, Area Damage. Gloves, you want Intelligence, Attack Speed, Crit, Crit. The chest, you want fire skill damage, intelligence, life. You could do vitality if you wanted to. The belt, you want intelligence, vit, life, and armor. For the squirts necklace, you want fire skills, damage, crit, crit. For the bracers, you want fire skills, intelligence, vit, crit chance. Both the rings are going to be the same, guys. You want crit, crit, uh, attack speed on both. Okay, We don't have exactly that on both of these, but you want crit, crit, attack speed. Pants, you want Intelligence, Vit, All Resist. Uh, for the boots, you want Intelligence, Vitality, All Resist, Armor. For the offhand, you want Damage, Intelligence, Vit, Crit Chance, Area Damage. And then, of course, with our uh, Angelic Crack Power on here, you would want Fire Damage, but Normal Damage is fine. 10% Intelligence and Attack Speed. Okay, if you end up getting the fourth one on there, get Area Damage, but um, that's fine. Or if you could get... I guess crit chance if you really want it, if you can get that on there, but this is pretty good. So those are the stat priorities for the build, guys. Now again, let's talk about some things that you could swap out. Okay, so LOD builds unanimously are just always different. There's so many different ways to build them. So I have some items in here to kind of give you guys a different perspective and a different way to kind of build it. So if you wanted to have even more damage reduction, you could do Aquilas in the chest piece. If you wanted to not do Mage Fist, you could do St. Archie's Gauge for the Elite Pack to gain another shield. Uh, you could do Stone Gauntlets paired with the Ice Climbers for just more damage reduction. Um, you could do the Blood Bracers for to increase the potency of your shields. You could even, if you didn't want to do Gold Wrap because you have some other defense pieces like I do, you could definitely do the Crim Bluff Belt to gain even more move speed, which I think is pretty good. You could do Witching Hour, which would be fine. It's just a normal belt that can give you a lot of stats. Uh, then you could swap Shame of Dalzir in here and then take something else inside of your cube. For the rings, instead of like Rachel's or instead of COE, you could do Stone of Jordan, which would be perfectly fine. Instead of the boots, guys, you could do Illusionary Boots if you wanted to pass Unhindered. You teleport everywhere, so this is just like an out there option. Uh, for the helmet, I went back and forth on both of these. So the Visage, I think, is really good. We can get more fire skill damage on here. We take 10% more fire skill or fire damage, but we're not even worried about that. We're going to be killing everything so fast anyway. But because I like, personally, I like the, the effect of the slow time stuff, I think that's really cool. But the Visage works really good. And we have an Ancient. We don't have a Crown Ancient yet, but this works really, really good. It does give you a little bit more stats and more attack speed, which I think is fantastic. Um, and fire skill damage, because that's our thing. We would go to 80, 89%, or no, excuse me, that's area damage. We would go to 86% fire damage. So this is the other helmet I would suggest if you're not going to rock the crown. Um, and that's it, guys. So you have a lot of options here. You don't really have a lot of options at your... Uh, your weapon slots, you definitely want Fragment and then Mirror Ball. Um, I tried building this with uh, Rocking um, Explosive Blast, but you don't need it. So those are some other options if you wanted to change out the build, guys, and just change it to some other stuff. There's a lot of flexibility. I think this is the most consistent and the fastest when it comes to it. In reality, with the, with the Halo and then how much defense I have, I think in the end I'm going to end up swapping to this. For just more move speed um, instead of the ancient gold wrap but i do think the extra armor is just fine okay because wizards are pretty squishy but that's going to do it for the build today guys this is the lod magic missile 
uh, build for Wizards for T16 farming in season 27 for Diablo 3. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, make sure to drop a like. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. All the support has been fantastic. Let me know down in the comments, guys, if you are building this, if you're a Wizard main, or if you have any other options that would be cool for it. I think this build is pretty solid. Um, and I think there's some really cool things that go on here, but if you have any suggestions, let me know down in the comments below. And as always, stay gaming, guys. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.